we need to find the fixed points and normal form of bilinear transformation w equal to z over 2 minus z. So here we have to first find the fixed points and then we have to find the required normal form. So the given transformation is w equal to z over 2 minus z. And to find the fixed points we always put w equal to z. So let's put w equal to z in the given transformation. So this is z equal to z over 2 minus z. And let's cross multiply this. We get 2z minus z square is equal to z. This implies z square minus z is equal to 0. This implies taking z common we get z into z minus 1 equal to 0. So we get z equal to 0 and 1 which are the fixed points of this given transformations. So 0 and 1 are the fixed points. Right? Okay. Now to get the normal form we have to subtract the fixed points from the given transformation. So first fixed point is 0. So let's subtract 0 from the given transformation. So w minus 0 is equal to yes. What is w? It is z over 2 minus z minus 0 that is equal to z over 2 minus z. And then subtract 1 from the given transformation. So w minus 1 this becomes z over 2 minus z minus 1. So this is equal to z minus 2 plus z over 2 minus z and that is equal to 2z minus 2 over 2 minus z. Let's mark this as 1 and this as 2. Now dividing these two equations we get on the left hand side w over w minus 1 and on the right hand side we get z over 2 minus z divided by 2z minus 2 over 2 minus z that will give us z over 2z minus 2. So w over w minus 1 is equal to z over 2z minus 2. If you remember whenever we are having the two finite fixed points what kind of transformation we use? We use for two fixed points alpha beta the transformation is w minus alpha over w minus beta equal to lambda times z minus alpha over z minus beta. So let's get this form for this result. So right hand side can also be written as z minus 0 over taking two common. So this is z minus 1. So this is equal to 1 over 2 into z minus 0 over z minus 1. So when you compare these two equations, you get your lambda to be equal to 1 by 2. Yes, so we have found that lambda is equal to 1 by 2 which is a real, right? Which is real. And whenever lambda is real or positive, the kind of transformation is hyperbolic, right? Okay, thank you.